Hey everybody, it's a really exciting day here because it's finally time to start painting the inside Woo! of our 2004 Lance 815 truck camper. We've had a lot of work the last couple of weeks repairing some water damage and rebuilding the front cab over, but it's all about to pay off. Yes, we picked up our two paint colors from Lowe's today. Um, we're doing obviously white like you guys suggested, which we're excited for. And then we have a little accent color. So can't wait to show you guys what that looks like and hopefully the painting goes well. We're gonna start with the back of the cabinets just so we can figure out the brush strokes and everything like that. But let's get that process started now. Let's do it. For the inside, we went with a color called Snowbound. It's slightly off-white, but it's a Sherwin-Williams, and we went with kind of their medium-grade paint just because the higher end didn't necessarily seem a benefit to us. Um, so yeah, it should be pretty nice and should match well with the primer. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so we used a paintbrush for this one, and then we used a roller for this one. So I think we like this one better. Pretty. That's pretty much it for the first coat everywhere in the cab over and we're mostly done with the rest of the camper. And thankfully the paint color itself is pretty similar to the color of the primer. So every time we are rolling it on, you can't really tell that there's paint on it, but that just means it's gonna be pretty durable whenever it's finished. So I'm finishing up the living room kitchen area, but we're not going to show you guys anymore because that's enough painting that you need to watch. So we'll show you the first coat of the cabinets and the whole camper and stay tuned for that. The bags, maybe. Ooh. First coat all finished. Let's show you guys what it looks like. Here is the dining. Kitchen. And then the bedroom. So we talked to the guy at Lowe's for quite a bit in the paint section while we were getting our two paints this morning. And he recommended us getting a soft brush for the smaller trim areas. And then for the rest of the camper, we just used a roller. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the brush is definitely harder, but with a softer one, he said, the lines will kind of go away after a few coats and I think he was right. So stay tuned for the second coat and then the accent color in the kitchen. <laughs> it's day two here on the actual coat of paint for the camper. We're gonna put a second coat on the back of all the cabinet doors and then we're gonna do a second coat inside of the camper. And then we're either gonna do the front of the cabinets or we might do our accent color later. But it's supposed to be warm. I think we're gonna get a lot done today and we're making good progress so far. cabinets all have their second coats and now we're inside the camper painting the second coat as well. How's it coming up there? Good. Good. Well, I think. Now we're moving back into the kitchen because the cab over area has its second coat on all the surfaces so hopefully it's looking good. Alrighty, second coat in the camper is complete. Let's show you guys what it looks like. We didn't do this part because you won't see it with our new cushions, but we did the walls, cabinets, 
bed. Not the kitchen yet. Looking pretty good. Now it's time to put the first coat on the front of the cabinets. We're gonna go through with a soft, small brush to get the inside trim and then roll everything else and hopefully we can make that look all right. Today was a very productive day. We did the camper and the cabinets all painted with white, second coat in here and the first coat on the cabinets. And we're just gonna call it a day today and tomorrow we'll tackle the resealing the windows. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's a new day here and it's time for us to tackle a project that we've kind of been putting off for a couple of days, but since the camper's been stationary, we haven't been too worried about it. And that is resealing the windows. We took out the trim on the inside whenever we started painting that way we can get as close to the window as possible. And some of them are starting to crack and we were planning on resealing them all anyway. So let's just go ahead and start that process now. So we're starting with trying to pull this one off and we just gotta take a blade here and kind of cut around the old seal. <laughs> okay. Now we need to clean all the old butyl tape off of the window and everything off the siding, and then we can get to resealing it. All right, we got the window cleaned off from all the old sealant, and now we're gonna put new butyl tape on the window, stick it up, seal it from the inside, and then we'll caulk around it. All right, so you just kind of hold it up there, so. We got the window mounted, now it's time to go through with some clear sealant and go and trim the window. Got the big window off. That one was pretty hard just because the angles of trying to get it off and the actual old butyl tape is still pretty sticky. So we got it off, now time to clean it up and then we'll do the same thing. So we just put a bead of sealant around each of the marker lights and around the entire front cab window. That's it for us this week. Thank you for sticking with us and we promise to be back on the road soon. Join us next Sunday as we finally paint our accent color and build a new countertop for the kitchen. Thanks for watching.